Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us. And today we are doing oh, a bunch of game balls. Nice. Do you have a favorite sport that you like to play? There's a lot of different ones that we're gonna learn to draw and paint together. So let's get our supplies out. Today we're using, I'm gonna use a half sheet of paper, but you can use a big one if you want as well. And then I have my paint brushes. I have a big and a small, you'll see, because there are some balls that are really small and some that are bigger, so that's why I might switch off a little bit. And then you're going to need a pencil to draw out, because we're gonna draw together, and I promise I will show you and you can do it. And then I have all my stuff in this cool brush basin, so this has my water. And then palette, and the colors I'm using today are rose red, tiger orange, deep blue, maybe, and sepia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you can grab any colors that you have and paint along with us. Now, oh, one other thing that might help is I have a cup, or if you can get a bowl maybe, something, a cup would probably be better, something that we're gonna use to help us trace our circle. So that may help if you go and grab that. Now, we're going to start with our motto, which is our saying that we like to do to kind of get us in the mode, get us ready. It's like our game chant, I guess, since we're in the game mode right now. Booyah. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Boom. And then we have Keenan in our back, who, are, who is our cameraman. Hello. Who will be here painting along with us. Now, the first step is, is like I said, grab your cup, and then I'm gonna use this side because it's a little bit easier for me, and then my pencil. So what you're gonna do is you are drawing your game balls. Now, you get to decide where you place your cup. So just place it down, hold it, and then you're gonna trace around the outside. So you have a circle, so that helps make a circle. Let's see, one. Where else can I fit one? Maybe I could fit one here. So if you don't have a circle, I'm trying to think what else. You can you can draw your, you don't need a cup. You can also draw your own if you want to freehand it. Let's see what else. Even a, um, a bottle cap. Mm -hmm. Just trying to think of smaller things. Smaller things? A smaller things would be, a bottle cap would be really good to help if you were to draw a smaller That'd one. That'd be great for a golf ball. Yeah or baseball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me draw another little ball over here. And then if you want to draw a football, footballs are not circular. Mm -hmm. They are almond shape. Almond shaped. What else do you think of? That's what I think of. I think of an almond or a oh, leaf. Yeah. I immediately thought of an oval, but I know that's not right. It's an oval with, a, it's a pointed oval. Pointed oval. So to draw one is you're going to start at one point and you're gonna curve out but then curve in. So it's kind of like a moon or a banana or a curve. And then we're gonna do the opposite side and we're gonna go to our point and go out to the right and then curve back in to make a point. Lemon. Lemon, yeah. I can see that too. Two elf ears put together. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> and I love your imagination. Thank you. Okay, so that is the first step. The next step is, is you are going to actually draw the different patterns. So each ball has a different pattern. And I don't know if you've ever looked at them or drawn them before, but I wanna help you by doing that. Let's see, I'm gonna start with, I have some examples. So let's see, is this on the overhead shot, can we see this? Yep. So I'm gonna start with a basketball. So let's see if it's like there. So you see how we have a line here right here? Yes. And then a line across? Yes. And then a curve and a curve. Hmm. So we're gonna draw those lines together right now. So let's start. So pick a spot, pick any of yours, and you're gonna draw the line across. Line across this way. I'm gonna curve it a little bit. Cool. And then 
let's see, so I guess that may help you because this is what we were looking at. It's kind of like this, this, and then a curve. So kind of actually the opposite of our football is I'm gonna do the left side first, but on the right side. So I'm gonna go curve out and then curve in. And then nice. on the other side, let's start over here and you're gonna go to about here. So you're gonna curve and then opposite. Boom! Oh. You just drew a basketball. Nice basketball. Look at that. Okay, next one. What do we have next? We have a, let's do our bowling ball, which I don't have a bowling ball on here. So I'm going to show you how to do a bowling ball because I like bowling. I wonder if any of you like bowling. Bowling is a good time. But this one's pretty simple, so I think we can do it together. So bowling has your two holes. Actually, there's three holes. So we're going to draw your two finger holes that are up here. And then there's one right here. So it kind of looks like a face. Yeah. <laughs> so there's your bowling ball. Let's see, what do we have next? Let's draw, let's try and draw this one and we'll make it a volleyball. Ooh, that's, ooh, that is a lot of lines. This one's a little tricky. So let's take it step by step. We can break it down together. I know you can do it. So. First step is, is you're gonna make, we're gonna separate it into three sections. So draw a, actually here's what'll help you. Draw a circle or a dot somewhere in the middle. Mine's a little bit off, that's a cool. And you're gonna draw a curve, a smiley face, one. So across, then let's draw one up, but I'm gonna kind of curve it out. So curve to the left and then in. And then let's do the opposite. So I'm gonna curve to the right here and go down. So we have three sections, one, two, three. Hmm. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting, is I'm gonna start with the top one, let's start with this section, and the th lines that we're gonna draw are parallel to this one. In parallel, you think of a road, because when we're driving, we're parallel to the road. Mm. So we're gonna look at this line, and I'm gonna come over here a little bit, because there's a section, and I'm gonna mimic that, or copy that same line. Neat. Let's do one more. Okay. Okay, coming together. Come together. Now, let's do this section and we're gonna mimic this line. So here's this line that we're gonna make it parallel. So again, let's leave a little bit of room and make a parallel line and then do one more. Coming together. Now let's keep going. So we copy this line, we copy this line. So naturally this line is next. So let's do that and let's copy it and go over here. Volleyball drawing also looks like if you were to take pictures of farmland and turn it into a globe. Cool, yeah. Right? Yeah, because this is a globe, so it's circular, so they're kind of all curving in different directions. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we did that. Yours may look a little bit different than mine, but we get the idea. Now, the other little tricky one, or let's do another, let's do an easy one right here. Let's do our baseball. So our baseball is actually the same as our basketball with these two lines, but without the plus sign in the middle. Mm. So let's do a curve and a curve. Did you ever play baseball? I played t-ball. <gasps> Fun. <laughs> Did you? No. No but you like baseball? I do like baseball. I played adult league softball a couple, there well, you three, go. three games. I played three games, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Maybe four. And a softball is similar, but a little bit bigger, right? Yeah. It's a, it looks the same with the hash And it's marks. not soft. It's a very hard ball. They trick you. <laughs> so we drew the little lines on our big line. So draw little lines like that to make it look like the stitching. We don't have a baseball with us, but. The closest thing I have is a tennis ball. That's what they look like. Oh, we can do the tennis ball. We'll do that last. Okay. Since it's over here, let's keep going. So next is, I'm gonna show you how to do a soccer ball. Cause I know that one's a little bit tricky too. Now, I have one here that is not pumped up, but I brought it because I want to show you this kind of looks like our sport <laughs> game that we created the other day with Ezra. Oh yeah, you'll have to watch that. We were making our our sports jersey. Yeah, we were making sports up a game. Jersey, that's what it was. <laughs> 
Okay, so the first shape I want you to draw, there are two shapes that make up a soccer ball. So this one, let's count the sides together. One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna start with this five shape in the center. So let me move that to the side. So somewhere on your soccer ball, we're gonna start with a, let's start with a triangle. That may be helpful. So there's one, two, and then we're gonna draw a line going in a little bit diagonal, another line on the other side going in towards the middle. So that's one, two, three, four, and let's connect. Five. Boom. Cool. Now, the next shape is, what do we got here? So do you see how here's our five and then directly below is let's count together. Can you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I know you can't tell, but these are all the same. So this is a six sided shape. This is six, this is six, this is six. So all the way around circling our five are sixes. Mm. Okay. So let's try that together. So we have, let's start with that one that we drew here. So we have our, that's our one. Let's draw a diagonal line going out and a diagonal line going out the other way. So one, two, three. So we got to basically mirror this on the other side. So let's go inwards diagonal. And then over here, let's go inwards diagonal on the other side. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Connect together, six. Nice. You got it. You nailed it. Now, it may help because now we know how to do that. Let's rotate our paper and let's do the same thing. So we have one, two, three going out, and then the opposite. Let's go in, in, together. Rotate. Boom. One, two, three, in, in, together. Rotate. One, two, three, in, in, together. And they're all, they're, they're all a little bit wonky, but that's cool. It is cool. We're making this by our hand. They'll, they won't be perfect and we don't want perfect. So we already have one, two, three. So they'll go in, in, together. Also, our soccer ball is flat. Yeah. Our drawing or our real Our one? actual soccer ball. <laughs> yeah. So our drawing, it's hard to copy. <laughs> okay, but you did that. So here's our five shape covered by sixes. Now, the... Next thing is that, this is where it gets a little tricky, but I want you to stick with me, is that these spots right here, so let's see, we have a curve, we have a curve, flat, kind of a curve, or not a curve, uh, an arch or a point, mm. not an arch, a point. A point. Right here and right here. So there are one, two, three, four, five. So on those five, we're gonna draw a five-sided shape. So let's start right here. So do you see how we have that triangle that we started with for this five? So we have one, two, in, in, and then that made that together. So there's a five shape. Nice. So let's curve it around. Triangle, curve it or in, in, together. Triangle, in, in, together. Oops. Triangle, in, in, together. And then kind of a triangle in, in, together. Kind of looks like a turtle shell. <laughs> that looks so cool. That is cool. Now, you might be done. Uh, you might have drawn yours a lot bigger than mine, your shapes. Or if you got to keep going, I'm gonna sh we're going to show you the last layer. So do you see how in between our fives, remember how our fives are circled by sixes. So I mean, all around these fives that we made dark and drew a dot, are gonna have sixes. So we already have one here. We have one here. Let's just finish that off. Here's a one, two, three, connect, connect. And that kind of makes a six. They get a little wonky over here, which is cool. One, two, three, four, five, kind of six. That'll be a long shape. Same over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it kind of finishes it off. So it Sweet. got a little interesting over here, but you did it. A soccer ball is probably the hardest 
ball to draw, in Agreed. my opinion. But you did it. So we broke it down. So we got that. Now, let's do a little bit easier one to give us a little bit of break. So a football, which, gosh, we didn't bring a football. You have one. Dude. A football has, I'm going to use this as my example, but I'm going to switch mine a little bit so you can see. So on the sides, there are two stripes. You're going to draw two lines to make this white stripe. And then on the other side, draw two lines like that. So we're going to paint this brown and this brown and this brown. And then we're going to draw a line in the center, kind of like our baseball. And they have stitching to keep it together. And then our very last one, thank you for sticking with me, is, woo, we got a tennis ball. Let's see. So on a tennis ball, you can see, you can either draw it like a baseball or there's a point right here, which I think is kind of cool, where it's basically like a U. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna draw that. Sweet. So basically draw a U right there. And you did it. Tennis now, ball. Now, if you drew a hockey puck, I forgot to show you how to draw that, but this is a oval and then a line and then a curved line at the bottom. So you can draw your hockey puck if you have space to fill that in. There's, I'm trying to think of other sports balls. Um, racket ball. Oh yeah, or if you have your tennis racket. Wiffle ball. Ooh, a golf ball. Mm-hmm, yep. So there's a lot of different ones. Croquet. Now, ooh, I love that game. <laughs> okay, so the next step is, is we're gonna start with our watercolors. So I want you to make sure that your brush and your water is near you. And we're just gonna kinda start. So you can either follow along or you can paint on your own. I'm gonna start with red because in this corner we have, I'm gonna do my small brush, dip your brush in water, and pick up the red. And I'm going to first start and outline the baseball lines and the stitching, because that's red. So you will see on the side camera is I'm really just lightly painting. I'm not pushing really hard on my brush so I can get a thin line. Then what else is red is let's just make our, if you did a bowling ball, I'm gonna make mine red because I have red right now. But you can make yours any color. I'm gonna switch brushes because it's a really big area. So I'm gonna switch to my bigger brush. So dip it in water, dip in your paint, and then you can paint the whole thing. Now, if yours looks like mine, that means you need more water. Do you see how kind of scratchy it is? Mm -hmm. it means I need more water on my brush and it will glide easier. Ah. Look at that. Nice. Ooh, bowling balls are cool too because I've seen all kinds of weird colored ones. Yeah. You know, There's some marble kind of yeah. colors. Ooh, that's fun. Okay. Bowling ball. Now, Next step is, is since we have our red, let's make some orange to make our basketball. So we have tiger orange, but I wanna show you is that the tiger orange we have is kind of yellow. Do you see that? Yes. So maybe what I'll do is I'm gonna dip my brush in red and let's mix in a little bit of red. Ooh, let's do a little bit more. And our basketball is Oh, that's true. Two stripes blue, two stripes white, two, four stripes red. So you can make your basketball any color Should you want. Should we do want. that? Or nope, you... let's do orange. That's a traditional okay. color. But that's true. You could mix yours up if yours looks different. So to mix orange is you're going to do a little bit of red plus a lot of yellow to make orange. And you're going to paint the whole thing. Need a little bit more water. So we're painting our basketball. Okay, and whenever we switch colors, we have to wash it off. Now, let's do, let's do brown over here because we already have brown made. So I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit of my sepia. Sepia is another name for brown. And on brown, I'm just gonna do these tips. So the tip and then the center Need a little bit of water. 
the tip, the center, and then the tip again. So leave those stripes white. Okay, now I'm gonna set this down so I can show you. We have a few that use black. So I need to mix black, because I don't have black right now. Now if you have black, you can go grab it. But we're gonna be a little magician over here and we're gonna mix black. So to do black is four drops or a little bit of blue. One, two, three, four. Blue plus one drop of red and one drop of your tiger orange or your yellow. So mixing, basically it's like our primary colors. Mixing that together, we'll see if that makes a black. There we go. Ooh, good Look color. what you just made. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna switch back to my small brush because this is kind of a smaller area. So let's put this away, grab my smaller brush. And we're gonna start with our soccer ball. So dip your brush in paint. Now, the ones that are black are only the five-sided shape. So we'll start with the first one that we did. Remember that was five. Mm -hmm. And then it's surrounded by six. And then actually the ones that we added our dot are going to be black because those are five. So this one. It's convenient. Yeah. That you marked which ones are going to be That worked painting. out well. And we're covering it up. So those are the only ones that are black on our soccer ball. But then what will help is let's go ahead and trace with black the lines that are in between. So that way they just pop a little bit more. So the lines we drew. Sweet. Nice. Now, next step is is we have, let's do, here's what I'm thinking, is that we already have black, but let, we want to make our volleyball, which is a white ball, but when you look at a white ball, if you see, we see these lines, but they're a little bit deeper, so they create a little bit of shadow, so it's kind of like a light gray. So I figured because we have black, let's make a light gray and go for that. So on my palette, we already have black, so I'm gonna add some water here because the magic trick is black plus water equals a lighter color, which makes gray. Mm. So we just made gray. Now are these, these are kind of dry. If you need to go and either use, if you have a heat at craft tool, you could dry yours off a little bit. Or if you're right-handed, you can Actually, if you're right or left-handed, you can kind of flip your paper. That may be a little bit easier to draw and paint so then we're not smearing. That's a great idea. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, just like here we trace to these lines, but in black, we're gonna trace these lines, but with gray. So do you see how it's a lighter color? And a that will help. very nice color. That will help and make it look like those. Basically, they're kind of like indentions. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna do the outside as well. And then I was thinking about it is if we look at our baseball, let's add a gray line around that just to kind of give it some dimension. Ooh, kind of made pink, that's fun. And then let's do that to our soccer ball. So we have our pencil lines, but I'm just gonna use gray just kind of outline the edge. Mm. Sweet. Okay. Now, you know what I forgot to do, which is okay, because it doesn't really matter what order we go in, but we have our black. Now, before we get to the last ball, I just thought about this. Let's, because we have black, just like how we were tracing these lines, on our basketball, we're going to make this black so that they really pop and the indention. So I have black already. So I'm just going to trace the lines on my basketball. And I'm just really lightly touching the paper. 
And then on our bowling ball is that the holes are holes, which means that it really, really has a shadow, so it's creating a darker color. So we can use black or you can use dark red, but I'm gonna color these in so that they look like holes. I really see a face. I do too. <laughs> this would also be great for a Halloween project. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so clean off your brush. Now, the very last step is we're gonna have to mix one more color because we have this really bright neon color, which we don't have exactly, but it's kind of like a hint of green, right? So to make green, or to make that kind of highlighter color, is let's make green first. So we're gonna do one drop of blue, and then we need more of this tiger orange or yellow, so I'm gonna do two drops, because the blue is really strong. So let's see what we get. So there's kind of a green. Now, the thing is that our ball is a little bit lighter. So remember the trick, adding water, to a color makes it lighter. Is this all in the shot, my palette? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Both shots. I'm trying not to mix into my black, but that's okay. So we made, there we go. There's kind of like a lighter green. Nice. It's not perfect, but again, we're not looking for perfect. This is our painting, so we're kind of making it our own. Also, that's an old tennis ball. You know, who knows what color. If, maybe it was Oh man, they're probably or, brighter. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe the one we're painting is older. Yeah. <laughs> So there's our light green. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's great. Okay. Now, wash off your brush, because I think we are done with our watercolors. Put your brush away or down. Let's see. So you can see, I made, I wanted to show you how you can make them a little bit different. Yours is gonna look a little bit different than mine. Now, the very, very last step is getting your Posca pen. So I don't think I said this in the beginning. So if you have a white Posca pen or a white jelly roll, this is a paint pen. So when you open it, you will have paint inside, but it's like a pen. So whether or not this is your first time, what I want you to do is I want you to shake it, count to about 10, and we're basically waking up the pen. And then we're gonna test it so we're gonna pump up and down a few times, maybe three, and then we're gonna test it so we can draw a line. And we only need this for two spots. Now, one of them is this, so I'm gonna dry this a little bit, my tennis ball. Okay, so do you know the two spots that need white? Football. Yep. That's all I can think of. Actually, the tennis ball doesn't need it, but I, because you see how this is a white line. Oh. That's why I figured. It kind of has a gray, actually, like our pencil yeah, line. Yeah, because it's dirty. <laughs> so yes, Keenan was right. The football's one, so we're going to trace on our stitching and see how this pin is so cool because it's making that white line. Super cool. And then I'm just gonna trace over this. And it's kind of perfect because you can kind of see through a little bit of the pencil. Oh yeah, that's nice. So it looks like our tennis ball. Wow. And you're done. <gasps> you did it. I know that was a lot of little steps, but can you see how making little steps and keeping with it helps you create a creation and a painting. And I'm so proud of you for doing this and I hope you had fun. Now you can make this project again. Maybe you pick your favorite sport that you do and your favorite ball and you draw it again and you can write your team name if you have a team name. You can make another pennant with it. Yep, that's a great idea. There's so many fun ideas, so I hope you had so much fun. This was one of my favorite boxes because I grew up playing soccer and basketball, so they're both sports that have are dear to my heart. So if you play either of those, oh, either of those sports, you're awesome. Nice. <laughs> but I hope you had fun. Please share with us what you made. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. We have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. We would love to see your smiling face with, you paint, with your painting. And always remember that you're brave, kind, and so creative. And we will see you next time. Bye.